I am meteorologist Aisha Scott, and I'm so excited to talk to you all today about weather instruments. Now, some of these weather instruments you may have never heard of, and that is perfectly fine. Or maybe you have heard of them before, but you don't quite know how to pronounce them. That's okay too. I'm going to talk about how to pronounce these instruments and I'm going to let you know what they're used for and hopefully you'll walk away maybe even putting some of these tools to use. So let's jump into it. First, let's start with the thermometer. The thermometer is used to take the temperature of something. Sometimes it's your body if you're sick, but in weather we use thermometers to measure the air temperature. Now this particular thermometer that you're looking at on your screen, this has liquid in a glass tube. The liquid in that tube, it expands when heated, but when it's cooler, it actually contracts and it lowers. That's how this particular thermometer works to tell us the temperature. I usually get this question all the time when I'm doing school talks. What is the red stuff in that thermometer? Some students think it's blood, Others just don't know, but they always ask. Most thermometers, believe it or not, are filled with alcohol. Next up, the barometer. I want you to ask yourself, what do you think this is used for? I'll give you a second. You think you know? The barometer is used to measure air pressure. Now, there are two types of air pressure that we typically talk about in weather. There's high pressure and there's low pressure. High pressure means fair weather. Low pressure means foul weather. So what do I mean by that? Fair weather, we usually associate with plenty of sunshine. It's quiet, it's calm. We've got barely a cloud in the sky. High pressure is the type of weather that you want around if you say, want to go ride your bike if you wanna play in the yard with your pets. Low pressure is the exact opposite. It's cloudy, it's sometimes rainy, and we also talk about thunderstorms. Next up, the hygrometer. This is an interesting one because the hygrometer measures humidity, but it also measures how much water vapor is in the air. This instrument is used to measure how much water vapor is in the air. Now, the way it measures it, the moisture in the air causes fiber in the hygrometer to expand or contract, thus telling us how much humidity or how much water vapor is in the air. This one you may have heard of, the anemometer. The anemometer is pretty popular and it's used for two things, wind direction and wind speed. Wind direction is really important when it comes to forecasting the weather because wind direction will tell us a lot about weather in general, but it will also let us know if we're expecting a big warm up or if we're expecting another cool down. Our winds shift out of the northeast, south, and west, and even northeast, southwest, etc. So when we get a, north, a northerly wind, when our winds come out of the north, we're bringing down cold air from say places like Canada or New York. When our winds come out of the south, typically we're bringing weather from places like say Florida. If you've seen a weather instrument that looks like this, an anemometer, the vein at the top tells the direction while the cups at the bottom spin with the wind. Welcome back. I hope you learned a lot about some weather instruments. Again, we didn't go through all of them, but hopefully you learned how to pronounce them and most importantly, what they're used for. And I do hope that uh, you could put some of these tools to use. I also want you to visit this website. It's weatherwizkids.com. It's weather, W-I-Z-K-I-D-S.com. And on this site, they talk about more weather instruments. So they went over a couple of things that we discussed, like the barometer, the thermometer, but they also talk about the rain gauge, which measures the amount of rain that has fallen over a specific amount of time. They also talk about a wind gauge, a wind sock, even weather maps. So again, I hope you enjoyed today. We'll have more of these videos to come.